Welcome to Wait to Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. The former presidential candidate started off by reading a letter from the Arab Institute, Bend the Arch Jewish Action, and Muslim Advocates, which accused Russell Vogt of denigrating Muslims and showing hostility to religious pluralism. Then Sanders moved on to attack an article the Trump nominee had written on behalf of his college, which stated that Christians and Muslims do not worship the same God. You wrote, quote, Muslims do not simply have a deficient theology. They do not know God because they have rejected Jesus Christ, his son, and they stand condemned, end of quote. Do you believe, do you believe that that statement is Islamophobic? Absolutely not, Senator. I I understand you are a Christian, but this country is made up of people who are not just. I understand that Christianity is the majority religion, but there are other people who have different religions in this country and around the world. In your judgment, do you think that people who are not Christians are going to be condemned? Thank you for probing on that question. As a Christian, I believe that all individuals are made in the image of God and are worthy of dignity and respect regardless of their religious beliefs. I believe that that as a Christian, that's how I should treat all individuals. And do you think your statement that you put into that publication, they do not know God because they have rejected Jesus Christ the Son and they stand condemned, do you think that's respectful of other religions? Senator, I wrote a post based on being a Christian and attending a Christian school that has a statement of faith that speaks clearly with regard to the centrality of Jesus Christ in salvation. I would simply say, Mr. Chairman, that this nominee um, is really not someone who is what this country is supposed to be about. So, Bernie, what you're saying is that although Christians are a majority of the U.S. population, and that sounds like an overstatement to me, we should ignore diversity and exclude them from government? And as for whether Christians and Muslims worship the same God, a little history lesson will clarify things. The term Allah was used to refer to a tribal moon god long before the start of the 7th century when Muhammad started his religion. There's also the question of whether the deity of Islam said and did things contrary to the god of the Hebrews, and eventually Christians. The differences cannot be denied. Here's another lesson from history. By the year 400 AD, the Romans were comfortable and lazy. Fewer young men volunteered for the Roman army. So Rome started inducting barbarians into the legions, some of whom would eventually overthrow the Thousand-Year Empire. Bernie, do you seriously believe the Roman commanders would tell the barbarians, you may not fight for us unless you believe your god Thor is the same as our goddess Venus? That's preposterous. America is a melting pot. Some of us, like me, believe that no man comes to the Father but by Jesus Christ. Others hold to differing ideas about salvation. Senator Bernie, who made you the faith police? We all don't have to think like you. The Founding Fathers intended that American government has room for different viewpoints. Your intolerance toward biblical Christianity is glaring. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.